Batman and he trained them. They went in areas such as housekeeping, food and beverage. Okay, those were the two main areas initially, and for six weeks. Once that six week period was completed, the training was completed, we then had a graduation ceremony. They literally graduated with certificates and letters of recommendation. And once the graduation was completed, openings then became available in the resort. In those same areas. And Ms. Pinder worked closely with those, particularly in food and beverage, and she was like, hey, we're going to be getting them in here because we need people to help us out. And she was one of the ones that really agitated. If you may call myself, listen, we have these people who are here, let's get them in here. And so we thought it, let's try it again. Because the goal of our, our resort, in all honesty, is to train the best minds with the willing hearts to be a part of ourselves. And so this afternoon, we're here again. <clears throat> and we're really pleased to be here. And so when we talk about the program, even though we only started with food and beverage, there may be other areas that will be available to you to go into, such as maybe even the bars, such as stewarding, such as ki even kitchen. In fact, we have about two or three of them, and you should see them, three of them, and you should see them in their shirt hats and, and, and jackets and everything. And there was one young man last year, a jacket and a apron, he didn't want to take it off. He was on a bus stop and all, and this apron, he didn't want to take his apron off, okay? <laughs> so it really just opens up um, areas, and it opens up opportunities for you. Okay. So when we look at the program, what all is, what all is what all does it involve? Once this afternoon, you can feature your application form. You're then going to be interviewed by Michelle, myself, or um, Mr. Richie, the hotel manager, who's on the way. Um, once you've been selected, we get everybody together, and we have what we call an orientation program. So that orientation program gives you all the information about the resort, and you get to meet the persons that you're going to be working closely with. Because at the end of the day, remember, we said it's a training program. So we go through the orientation, go through the six weeks program, and then at the end of that six weeks, in fact, we meet with you every Friday during that six week period as well. And once that's completed, we do an evaluation. And once you're successful with that evaluation, of course, you graduate. And uh, once the graduation is completed, then we have once an opening is there, we have an opportunity to certainly give that opening to you. So at the moment, what the program is, it's a training program, hospitality training program. Okay. So if you are 18 and older, and you basically have nothing to do at this point in time, or have not been doing anything, then I would like to say to you, this is a wonderful opportunity for you. All right. However, the only thing that we encourage you to do now, once you've started, do your best to stick to it because there there can be benefits in it at the end of the day. All right. And here's the what we consider to be succession planning. You start in as an HDP training, meaning a training. Okay, then you go in to be a team member and be a person in that stage already. From there, you can move into being a departmental trainer. Okay, from there, then it leaves everything open. Supervisor, management, because it might be recall, and in fact, I'm going to let Ms. Pinder talk in a minute, because she's going to share her experience with you. When she started, she wasn't always a food and beverage manager. And so without any further ado, let's welcome Ms. Pinder, please. Good evening to everyone. Um, like Ms. Hilton said, I started out in a similar program, like uh, not really the HTP program, but a program similar where we went through a training session and then afterwards we were hired um, on as team members. I started out as a waitress in one of our restaurants. We actually have nine restaurants on property. Um, we went through the same training program, and um, they hired us on permanent. I was hired as a waitress, worked in basically all nine of our restaurants on property. We have nine restaurants on property, and I worked basically in all of those restaurants. I was promoted um, 
to a head, a head server in the restaurant, afterwards supervisor, then restaurant manager, and now assistant food and beverage manager. Um, like, I don't have a degree. The only thing I have is a high school diploma, but um, with determination, and if you have goals, you set goals when you first, especially when you're ending the food and beverage, and you have to have the mindset to really want to do this. And a lot of people see um, waitresses in the hotel, honestly, the work is hard. It's not all about the uniform. I know sometimes you see people dress up in their nice, clean uniform, gloves and everything. It's a lot of hard work. And it, all we look for really is personality. We're looking for pers persons that have nice personality, who bubbly, who are smiling. That's all it takes. A nice personality, a person that is willing to learn and to go the extra mile. Um, like she said, when we first started to the HCP, program, we started off with at least the 26 persons in food and beverage. At the end of the six weeks, I think we end up with eight, a lot of people. It shows that a lot of them probably didn't have the mindset that was in food and beverage. We had housekeeping as well. A lot of people stick through the program, and we had a graduation afterwards. But we were determined, and I was determined, these persons were so determined to stick within the program. We pushed and we pushed until the eight persons of the high for food and beverage, the eight persons that did completed the six weeks were hired about a week later to Sandals Rodin because we had the availability um, in the restaurants and, and, and in the kitchen area, so we hired them right away. And I'm just saying that it's a really good program. I'm so proud of our HGP pro, um, persons right now. You have two inside the restaurants, they're working hard, and you would never think, that's why I tell them, I said, now you all have to pick up your socks because we, we're having some new persons coming into the system, and we want to show them where you all came from because they learn basically everything about food and beverage. They learn how to set up a table, they learn how to change tablecloths, they learn how to polish silvers, they learn how to serve drinks, they did basically everything. And right now, I think we're getting ready actually to have, um, make about two or three of them permanent uh, in another couple of weeks. So the program is a successful program and I'm just asking you to um, just be interested, show us that you're interested. You're interested in the program. Okay, thank you, Michelle. very simple. Um, it's a partnership between Sandals Royal Bahamian, management, um, team members that are back there, that are skilled, that are trained, and then the other part of it is going to be your commitment for those of you who are selected to be a part of it, to come inside there and learn everything that you possibly can. Um, I heard someone said, you know what, you'll go inside there and you might not get the job, but you'll get the what? Very important. Okay. Very, very important. And all that's going to take is that's going to take a commitment um, from you to do it. So 80% of success, I was told, is showing up. So you're already 80% there. 80% of success is showing up. You actually um, have embraced the opportunity and you're here today, so you're 80% there. The other 20% comes down to actually when you go inside the Sandals environment and you're actually going to put your best foot forward and you're going to obviously take on what the leaders and the other team members are going to show you and you're going to actually embrace it, and you're going to work it. There are going to be difficult days. Um, it's not going to go as planned. We all know life is not one. It's not easy. It's not a better rules. This is not a simple. Um, and so um, you're going to go in there, and that 20% is about the fine toning. That 20% is about the learning. That 20% is about the difficult days. That 20% is all obviously getting with Ms. Hilton, or Ms. Pinder behind me, or my 
myself, if you ever get to see me around, not walking, breezing by you real quick, dashing off to a meeting or doing something, that you can stop myself or one of the managers and actually um, let them know what, 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 what's going on in your head, what you're thinking, um, that you need some assistance. Okay? So while you're inside there, always remember when you show up to the gate every morning that, you know what, I'm 80% there because I actually show up. The 20% is what I'm actually here to learn and what I'm here to embrace.